So my name is Lisa Rotenberg, and I'm a Toronto artist, illustrator. I'm registered with the National Gallery of Canada. And I'm a painter, illustrator. Did I say that? Anyway, I'm a painter, illustrator. And I paint a lot for uh, companies and corporations and charitable organizations, especially ones that want to get a lot of exposure in the community. But the painting is just phase one. I turn the paintings into things for either fundraising or public awareness so that they can turn it into cards, posters, t-shirts like this, anything at all. This painting I created just for this project and it is a cow wearing a green belt standing over the region like a guard cow if you will and this cow has a green belt with a kid because she is, uh, and I've invented a new term for this project called multi-agricultural. And a multi-agricultural cow or multi-agriculturalism means that this region can take on any aspect, whether it is animals, tourism, uh, farming or hiking, anything that happens in the region. The region itself is represented not so specifically so that you can see it from far away or whether you want to get involved in the region, but it's non-specific. It's just really appealing for a mass market. The painting itself is, uh, I created it, as I said, just for this, but it can then be used as raw material for many other things. For example, this beautiful t-shirt that I'm wearing created just for this can be sold or given away for promotion. The next step I took was I created this fantastic poster, which I'm going to show you now. Uh, my skills as a graphic designer came in handy here. This poster, called Multi-Agriculturalism, shows the painting, a communicated uh, piece of copy. Ontario's Greenbelt is our living countryside. We also show the Greenbelt logo everywhere. You know, whether the copy is final or not, it's not important. The idea that this is showing everywhere where people go and visit the Green Belt is really important. When you go and visit the Green Belt, this is what you want people to see so that they remember and come back. Sure, the web presence is okay, but you want people to see it on site and want to come back, maybe take this home with them and frame it, maybe take it home and give it as a gift, but you want them to know that they should go there and come back. It's not the web that they take with them in the car and go to Chudley's and pick apples. It's when they go there and stay there and maybe go and visit somewhere else. Another item that I've come up with is a brochure. This is not only a pretty picture, it also can become a brochure with a map. The map then has points all over the landscape that can be highlighted and turned into a brochure where featured items can be identified, where people on the green belt can highlight their location. Then the person picks this up and knows, sure, they went to Chudley's, but then they can go to Bell Fountain. And uh, personally, my uh, trek in the green belt is not for the green belt, it's to find the best butter tarts in Ontario. My personal liking, hey, you can do whatever you want. This is the sort of thing that this painting can do for you. As I said, I've done this for other companies before, including the Toronto Fire Department, uh, charitable foundations such as the Ontario Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and other companies as well. And I hope you enjoy this painting, and I hope you find it, that it would be a terrific contribution to the Green Belt. Thank you.